Coach, a nice uh, 9-5 non-conference went out there today. Can you just get your general thoughts? Yeah, I mean, obviously we walked 11 guys. You don't win many games when you walk 11 guys, but it was good to see Ricky get a win and contribute to what we're doing here because if you know, we're going to do the things that we need to do. We need him to be good. And, you know, he took a step forward today. Um, you know, overall, the pitching, you know, we walked 11 guys. We haven't done that in a long time, but our bats really came through. We hit a lot of, a lot of, uh, had a lot of extra base hits, you know, starting in the first inning with Colby's. Uh, but we swung the bats one through nine up and down the lineup. And uh, if we can do that, we're going to be tough to beat. Another uh, day for the young guys, Paul Ketty and Climo combining for five hits and four runs and a five RBIs. Can you just talk about their performance? Well, I mean, they just are maturing as players as the season goes on. They're learning. Uh, you know, they've both struggled at times, but uh, you know, the peaks and valleys of the season. The, the valleys are a little lower now, and uh, but they're two really good players. And you know, for us to do the things that we want to do this year, you know, we're, we're going to need big contributions from them. Before the delay, you know, they had runners on first and second. No outs. Was there kind of a pep talk in the locker room to when you guys came out? Well. I mean, it could be a momentum changer for the other team, and you, know, you just got to go out there and throw strikes. Luke struggled with those first two hitters, but it showed a lot about the type of makeup he has coming out, going down 2-0, getting a pop-up, and then uh, forcing a double play. And that was, I thought, the, you know, the biggest plays of the game. All right, Coach, get some rest before we're out. Thank you. All right, thanks.